Welcome to a new video, part of this series where we're building a filter form with Django. Over the past few videos, we've been building it using Bootstrap, and in this one, we're going to start building it with React. And to do this, we're going to use the Django React boilerplate project, which we have on GitHub. So here on GitHub, you can just go to our Django React boilerplate project. And if you click on this, we're then going to download this project because we're going to take this code and move it into DJ filter repository. So I'm just going to download this and now I've moved it here into the project. This is the Django React boilerplate master and I'm actually just going to zoom out a little bit so we can see this better. So what we want to do is just move most of this into the directory that we're working in right now, which is this filter tutorial directory. And one thing to notice is that we have this source directory in here, which is actually the react project. So if we were to move source into this directory here, we already have a source directory, which is our Django project. So we're going to need to do some moving around. And what we're going to do is basically just move all of these files that are inside the source directory. And we're just going to move them out of the source and I'm going to delete the source folder. So the filter tutorial will be our base directory. And then we can take everything that we need. So I'm going to take the home public source. I'll leave the git ignore for now and the manage.py as well. I'll take the package.json file and well, that's all for now. Then we'll handle the requirements in a second. So we'll just drag it there. And then our requirements file, I'm going to delete and we'll move the new requirements in there. And then I'll just take this from the git ignore and paste that in here. Then I can delete the Django React boilerplate master. We don't need anything else from there. And now we just need to basically rename the home folder DJ filter. And I'm just going to move over some of the URL settings into there. And we'll change this regular expression to go from React. And then I'll bring in this bootstrap view that we've used. So that's the URL files. Then we'll also need to go into the base and add in our core app inside the installed apps. And we'll also need to add our template directory in here. So we'll just add another entry. And then we will also need to check that our static is more or less the same. So we'll just copy that and so we already have the static URL. We'll paste the media URL there. Then I'm also going to add another static files directory into our list. And then the static root, I'm going to keep as static underscore root and media root like this. So we'll get rid of those two. Cool. So that seems fine. Now we can delete the DJ filter and rename home to be DJ filter. And then we're also going to search for home and we'll just need to replace that. And there we go. And then in the manage.py file, we're going to change this to settings.dev so that we use the development settings. And then we can also get rid of some of these requirements in there. Cool. So let's try and activate our virtual environment. Cool. So now we can try and install the new requirements.txt file. And now we can try and run our migrations. So we'll say manage.py migrate. And there we go. Now I'm going to try and run the server. Cool, so that seems to be working. So we can try and view this in the browser. And there we go. All our data is still there. So that's pretty good. And if we go to slash react, then this error is fine. At least we know that it is taking us to that react URL. So now that we've set up the project to actually have react, 
we can get started with building our React form in the next one. And so if you've enjoyed this video, leave a comment down below. Let us know what you thought. And otherwise, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.